Proximity v investigations. I'll accept it. Seems like someone's tried to tap into our pipeline again. Secure security is already on the case, but I doubt they'll find much. That said, they need they did leave their unmarked trailer behind. Could you tow it for us? Yep. Doesn't look like there's fuel in this water. How it looks a bit colourful. Just to the right and left of me. Come on. Still. Uh, why can't I link to it now?
thanks for hey there bone bag i'm assuming that was a post it didn't actually pop up anywhere for me other than on the stream which on the white background i can't see so thank you how you doing today i'm trying to yeah I'm trying to get this trailer out of here, out of here, using this truck, which I should be using a fifth wheel, but don't have it. So, As soon as you, as soon as I heard it, I look over to chat to see what it was, and I get the bar in chat to say I've just joined the chat, or welcome to the chat. Yeah, this is the Bandit, it's a DLC truck. And because it's DLC, I was able to get it at the start of the game. It's a very expensive truck. It naturally comes in red as well. I haven't changed anything on this truck other than the... Actually, I think it is the exact same co configuration and everything as when you start the game or as when you get the truck. I'm not too sure how the DLC works. I bought the DLC when I bought the game. Therefore, I had the DLC when I first started playing. With the normal mode game, I had the DLC, all the DLC trucks in my garage or in storage in my garage when I first started. So I don't know if when you buy a DLC that comes with trucks, damn it, I will count that. And I believe I'm going to have to recover. Yeah, I don't know if when you buy DLC it automatically ends up stored. Like if I go to this slot truck storage this is where the DLC trucks were that's the only one I've got left but I've currently got all those trucks in storage but yeah when I bought SnowRunner I also bought year one DLC I did look into it after, 
after the first time you came into my stream watching here and unfortunately you playing on console we can't do multiplayer Okay, yeah, just look in your garage and look in the truck storage section. It should be in there. Unless you're playing on hard mode. Hard mode, you don't get the DLC trucks given to you. No, on scout vehicles you can, but not on trucks. Which is quite annoying, it would be very, very handy on trucks. This was a lo rock slide that I cleaned up. Why would I have left all these rocks on the road? I should have recovered the Hummer as well. Then I could have taken both of them back to the map together. Put the Hummer on the back of this and... This would be my first time using this tunnel. We had to unblock it first. This one, yes, I have upgraded the tyres. This one I've got um, chained, all tyres chained. How far did I get, how close did I get to pulling that trailer out? Where was it? Out. Oh. There it is. Had a bit to go. Okay. I might go collect this truck now. I have got a Hummer on this map as well, but its suspension is completely destroyed. You know how I was doing a 100% Skyrim run? I completed it last night. I only started it in February. <laughs> Such a huge game. Plus I was only playing it for... between four and six hours each Monday or once a week, so... I've still got the last episode to upload to YouTube, but the rest of it is on YouTube. I fought the 
Ebony Warrior last night as well. That was insane. Which reminds me I was going to create a clip of that. I should have created a clip of fighting car stag as well. Because both of those were real tough fights. The Ebony Warrior, I had the strongest sword or great sword in the game. Strongest armor with the highest armor rating. And on the legendary difficulty, he was still killing me in one, two hits. It was quite insane. At level 81, I was. I am. Yeah, supposedly. He only appears once you reach level 80. I had to actually go searching for him. Really? Come on. On, I was so close to where I wanted to go, right down there. Gotta add it. What vehicles? I don't have anything with the big crane on this map. Yeah. I don't need this configuration anymore. I can recover this and use this one. I don't know what this can take. So I'll recover this and see what this one can take. I only was given that this truck on this map. I think this one would be better off having power to wait. Yeah, it might be slow, but it's got the power, it's got the drive. Looks like you get it given to you with the best tyres. Nice. They're the only attachments it can have. That's no good. I have a yeah I've got the P16 on this map this one's got the um, high saddle which is not the one I need for that trailer and this one can't take a crane I think I might recover the Fleet Star and change the configuration and put the huge crane on it. It 
it is it's insane that p16 it's only rear wheel drive and you can't have diff lock on it but it can go anywhere even without drive to the front wheels it can go anywhere you can only have the um long log thing on it like this one has it and the high saddle on it though you can't have any other stuff on it which is very annoying that's the crane i want While I'm here, I'm going to do what I was saying before. I'll jump into the Hummer, detach the trailer, recover it. Yep. I'll allow it very much. It's the biggest... Well, there's only two cranes you can... Or three cranes you can get. You can get the log crane. You can get the small crane, which is attached to the bandit, which I was using to pull that trailer. And that huge crane. Actually, I don't think I've put better tires on this. I've got off road tires. In this area, you should have snow tires or chain tires. What's that? Polyphia. So, for the other tires, I need suspension, I need high suspension which you unlock somewhere in Alaska or raise suspension but I'm yet to find it so I'm gonna go up behind this other truck Ah, uh, I don't know. The music I've got going is just from Stream Beats, which I just realised I don't have the command on for it. And Stream Beats doesn't tell me the artist of it. So I'm not sure who, who it is. But let me just quickly turn on those commands. Yeah, the music through stream beats, I don't know who the bands are for each of them. Not the type of music I listen to normally. And I take it from stream beats because it's all royalty free music and you won't get copyright claims for it.
I do keep meaning to look around further for other actual songs that would be copyright free to have in a playlist, but keep forgetting to. Because I, uh, I up upload my VODs to YouTube, I don't want to be having a heap of copyright claims on YouTube, so I do my best wherever I can to not use copyright or not play copyright music, and the only time it does is if I'm playing a game with it in. Like the whole Grand Theft Auto game. With the music that you were playing with SnowRunner, is that just played in the background and picked up through the mic, or are you actually playing it through the computer? I play it through the computer. Or playing it... I suppose you can't play it through a console, can you? So it has to be picked up through the mic. Yeah. I thought so. There's a huge truck that's gone off a cliff that I want to rescue. Well, it's one of the tasks to rescue it. <laughs> 